Welcome back. So I actually thought that I instantly restarted my stream, and I've been talking to you guys for the last four minutes, <laughs> and uh, the stream was not. So I ran to Al Sotha. I accepted the follow-up quest, which has us go to this Daedric Ruin to grab a pair of boots. Andrin Lelethan asked me to find the Shoes of St. Realms and return them to the temple, in the depths of Aldsotha. And I was able to find Aldsotha relatively easily, because it was just northeast of Vivek. Uh, so right after I jumped off the canton, we were pretty much right here, and I went inside. I did fight a couple of enemies outside, but you didn't miss anything particularly cool. I did want to see how hard a Winged Twilight would hit me, now that we're on substantially higher difficulty level. And the answer is pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she kicked me for a good, I don't know, 15% of my health. So, uh, that's cool. Also, I posed a question to you guys, uh, both to Twitch viewers and to the eventual YouTube viewers. How you guys felt about me using the boots of Blinding Speed. Because I did use the boots to get to Out Sotha. And I was wondering, do you find that too cheesy? Is that too gimmicky? Should I stop using the boots with this uh, resist magic spell, or should I keep doing it just to get from point A to point B a little faster? In my opinion, I think one of the more boring parts of Morrowind is running around the open world, uh, looking for what we're trying to get to. So I'd like to continue using them, but um, let me know what you think. Yay to the boots, or nay to the boots. Okay, so let's go through Altsotha here. We did save. And we are sneaking. Because now I'm scared of everything. <laughs> we can probably put on Spirit Knife. That'll allow us to hit something with a little bit of range. Start softening people up before we get to them. So there's a bunch of people in here. Yeah, that answers my question. Okay, we hit her pretty hard. She's got an enchanted weapon. Don't love that. Stupid! She's got two master lockpicks. That's interesting. And a master probe. And a poison sword. We can use this brazier to sort of kite him around while the spirit knife damages his health. Dead. Nice. He's got full bone mold armor. I don't know who these people are. They're probably just, um, Daedra worshippers of some kind. Not sure. This guy might be tough. Got him. Wow, these fireballs are insane. Hey, how are you? You smell good. Uh, is it your arm or is it the normal stuff? Can I see it? Yeah, sure. Ooh, damn. Yikes. Okay. Did you take some Tylenol? Okay. You want to, um...
sorry about that. Uh, okay. Got him. Dwarven Battleaxe, pretty cool. wonder if this person is going to attack us too. She is. Oh, damn. Glass sword with an ebony shield. She's well equipped. She's got a lot of health, too. I'm bugging out her AI a little bit. Got her. The sword is worth 17,000 gold. The shield is also worth 17,000 gold. And she has full imperial silver otherwise. Man, she was equipped. Okay, but so far, I have not found these boots. There's a Daedrith. Damn, that's a lot of people. I'm going to use the Spirit Bite Ring. God, it reflected. That's bad news. That's bad news. So that ring reflecting is devastating for us. That ring is paralyzed for 7 seconds and damage health by 200 to 250 points and he reflected it on us. Oh, brutal. We had to drink two health potions. Two very expensive health potions. A Daedric Battle Axe. Jeez, we'll pick it up, but man, is that heavy. Oh, she's throwing darts at me or something. What? Ooh, that hits hard. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's hitting my health pretty good. You're not even trying. I wonder if I can let her attack me for a bit, just to get some free uh, block and light armor. She's doing a pretty good damage, though. So. Hmm. Let's 
let's go ahead and renew ourselves. Restoration increase, too. Nice. Oof. Her character model's kind of cute. You they did a nice job with her face. I think she's got like a Daedric Tonto, maybe? And she's doing pretty good damage for that being essentially a dagger. Armor's down to 89. Do I have anything to repair my gear with? Not on me. So we'll have to do that after this, uh, this after this mission. Give in. I'm not blocking quite as much as I'd like to. Damn. now. You've lost this round. Have I? Take that. That's a poison flasker. Let's see what she thinks of that. Oh, I think she's gonna die to that. Yeah. Interesting. Ring of Sanguine Fluid Evasion. Fortify unarmored. Five points on self. Amulet of Sanguine Nimble Armor. Fortify light armor. Five points on self. And Glove of Sanguine Swift Blade. Fortify short blade, five points on self. With a Daedric Tonto. That's right. She's got some really interesting gear on her. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves up real quick. Hmm, our sneak increased. We got another Wolf Queen book. Ancient Dagoth Brandy. Interesting. Daedric Tonto through a skull. Also interesting. Alright, let's unlock this chest here. It's not a very hard lock, so we can use a lesser open lock. My alteration went up. Damn, we're gonna level. Yeah, 7 out of 10. The problem is, I have not yet found these shoes. So the shoes have got to be through here. Ald Sotha Shrine. Interesting. So we're not even that far... We're not even that far in. Oh boy, she's going to kick our ass, isn't she? Let's hit her with a spirit knife. Maybe we can hit her with a stasis. Target persistent magic. Oh, got her. The spirit knife is really doing a job on her. Critical damage. Ring of Sanguine Red Wisdom. Fortified Destruction, five points. That's pretty cool. We got a key from her. So there's gotta be something to unlock around here. She might not be the only enemy. <coughs> yep, there's a clan fear. <coughs> Let's see if we can hit him with a spirit knife. Shit. We have bigger problems than a clan fear. The spirit knife might kill him. It did. We can hit this guy with the spirit knife too. 
Got him. We can hit him with an electrocute next. Okay, we got him on both. Oh, he's gonna die for sure. Oh yeah. Toast. Ebony mace. Valuable. If we take that grand soul gem, something's going to attack us for sure. Yep. Oof. I absorbed that. I absorbed that too. I didn't absorb that one. Lightning bolt. Dead. Got him. Dispose of corpse. A Daedric club. I don't think I've seen one of those before. Very heavy. We've got some very heavy equipment right now. <laughs> I'm wondering if I take the Grand Soul Gem or the Diamond if I'm going to get attacked again. I didn't. Alright. And I didn't. So it was the sword that was trapped. Okay, let's get that probe out. Although I wonder if the small key will just open them. Nope. Strength was decreased by one of the traps. So, restore strength spell. Strength is back to full. Nice. But that still begs the question where are the shoes? Weren't there supposed to be shoes here? Eldrin Lilothin asked me to find the shoes of St. Realms and return them to the temple. A priest recently dreamt that the shoes were in the depths of Aldsotha. Well, I'm pretty deep into Aldsotha. Can we whip out the lantern? No, it's not very bright. But hey, it's better than nothing. Are there supposed to be boots in here? Are they on one of these braziers? No. What about in here? Okay, so we might have to look it up in the handy-dandy notebook, because we've pretty much cleared this dungeon now, and I don't see them. At the rear of the altar in the shrine. It's on the altar proper. Level 50 lock is what the book says. <clears throat> so there must be a chest on the altar that I'm just not seeing. I must just be missing it. Ah, there it is. It's back there. Shit. How did I keep missing that? Alright, let's open that up.
500 gold, which is pretty cool. And then the Shoes of St. Realms, Fortify Personality and Endurance, 5 each. Pretty cool. Wow. That is a huge lantern. <laughs> Alright, we got it. Time to get out of here. There's part of my little Daedric Shrine I got going on. We can put the Daedric Tonto here, too. So, we have the Daedric Tonto, the Daedric Katana, the Daedric Short Sword, and the Club. <coughs> and then we have a Battle Axe over here. That's pretty badass. There we go. Nice. So our Daedric Shrine is coming along pretty well. Then we have another diamond to put in there. We have a couple alchemical ingredients to drop in our crate. We have a whole bunch of sanguine stuff. Repair our armor real quick. Cool. Nice. Alright, so we have a few things still to get rid of, but nothing too bad. We can go ahead and save. And I want to go back to Caldera, and we can just drop a few things off in that crate near Creeper. I don't need to sell anything now, but um, I can do so a little bit later.
We have some really valuable soul gems, too, that we can sell eventually. So our armor rating is actually... Well, let's put the shield back on. Yeah, 106. Once everything is all repaired, which isn't bad at all. In fact, for light armor, that's very high. We're doing it. So yeah, let's put this uh, Tonto in there. Put this Ebony Broadsword, Ebony Mace, Ebony Shield. And that gets all that out of our inventory, at least. So we're running a little bit lighter. We have the Daedric Wakasashi, too. We can maybe take one of those. And maybe the Daedric Spear. And the Daedric Staff. Okay, good. So they consider it stealing from them. Even though it's my stuff <laughs> that I put in the crate. <laughs> but uh, when you take anything out of a crate in there, they presume that it's theirs, belongs to them, and that I'm stealing. I'm glad that doesn't count, <coughs> because that bounty would have been like 200,000 gold. Warm greetings, Dare to peruse my so let's go back real quick to Balmora, and uh, we'll put these in our little Daedric table. I have the finest. If I end up getting Daedric armor, I guess I'll just put it off to the side. I'd really like some um, red lanterns. I think that would look really cool in here. If I could get some some cool like red red lights. Maybe we can put this <clears throat> here. There we go. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. Lights up the place a little bit more. We should honestly do something like that. Damn, not what I wanted. Looks good. Want to do like the staff over here, maybe? Oh man, staff is super long. We probably have to do the staff and the spear over here. Nice. Alright, cool. We did it. 
I don't really want to spend too much of these uh, Let's Play episodes doing home decorating. <laughs> so thank you for bearing with me. Let's head back to the temple in Vivek and turn in the boots of St. Rilms. Now that we've, uh, you know, put everything away and repaired ourselves, we're in good shape to uh, move on to the next quest. I'm very happy to meet you. I have the finest. What can I do for you today? There's a foul cult operating under the St. Delon Canton. Hmm. Their meeting place is known as Ihinipalit. The cult meets there. I know only that Ihinipalit is somewhere beneath the St. Delon Canton. Go there with fire in your eyes and in your heart. Bring the temple's justice to the leader of this cult, Biamund. Biadmund? I wish I could accompany you, Curate Jokri, but I cannot. However, I can offer you these scrolls. Two scroll of Hellfire, two scroll of Elemental Burst Fire, and two scroll of Fifth Barrier. Damn. He's given me the sauce. <laughs> He's given me the, the heavy hitters. Alright. We can go check it out. I am game. Did I get any reputation for that? I didn't. I'm not actually getting a whole lot of reputation for these quests. Which is annoying. What's he doing? Crazy. I don't know. Oh, that might be it right in front of us. Damn. Although there is something happening down there too. like a little dude's homeless shelter in here. But he made a little door. And he's got a fire and a bedroll and a pot to shit in. Got a little iron dagger there. And even a little chest. We're gonna rob a homeless person. <laughs> I'm actually just curious to what's inside. He's got some stuff! He's got some lockpits and some probes, which implies to me that this is a thief's. I mean, he might be homeless, but he's also a thief. Okay, well, there's something cool happening down here. Because there's a dude standing outside. And he's probably not friendly. I'm gonna kill all the rats in this sewer. And then we're gonna talk to this dude. Hockey. Let's go ahead and charm him first. I'm ready for anything. Go ahead. It's a pleasure to see you. I mean, he doesn't say shit. He's got nothing in his dialogue. There it is. Yeah, I feel like we should save. What are some of those cool scrolls you just gave us? He screwed my stats. 
we're going to poison flask her. And then we're going to poison flask him too. They both died to the poison. Alright, let's restore our stats, if we can. Restore strength. Strength is back. We need to restore endurance. There we go. Endurance is back. Okay, this is the leader of the cult. So it's what, Shiagorath? He's got a spark blade and some decent armor. She's got a very nice robe. Exquisite amulet. Nice. Exquisite ring, too. Yeah, we're gonna take all of that. The exquisite clothing um, carries the highest enchanting charge possible. So if you want to enchant stuff, you have to use exquisite quality stuff. This is nice, man. I like how you have all the Canton water kind of coming through, which is cute. And then there's a little bedroom in here, even, with like a little garden. Oh man, two more exquisite amulets and an exquisite ring. So we have, we have enchanting locked down. We have all the stuff we need. We got some Flynn. We got the Red Lantern, which we were just talking about wanting. Funny how that works. It's just in my house, like, you know what I need? I need some Red Lanterns. <laughs> and then let's open up all of these chests. Mostly just alcohol. A little bit of gold. Alright. So we destroyed the cult. I wonder if I take this stuff if I'm gonna get attacked. I feel like I am. We'll go ahead and get the poison flask ready. Nope, nothing attacked me. There it is. The reflected poison flask. <coughs> Not great. Not what we wanted. We can go ahead and spirit knife him. He juked it. So one piece was was cursed. All right, cool. Let's almost v intervention. Alm city. Put our necromancer's amulet back on. Turn this in. Yes, I heard Biad Biadmund is dead, and the dark cult has been cleansed from the shrine of Ehini Palit. You have earned the respect of the ancestors. Please take this ancestral wisdom staff and my gratitude. Hmm. Cool. Advancement. Oh, the temple recognizes you, Jacri. You are now Jacri the Disciple. We're moving on up. Duties. I have no more duties for you. Speak with Tools Valen in Alderun, Realms Glavillo in the Redron Canton, or Tharil Rothaloth in Molagmar. So I guess we can go to the Redron Canton. I guess that would be the next move for us, right? Because it's closest to this one, and then we can do Molagmar last, I suppose.
better on. Alright. I wonder if it's at the very top. Hey, athletics went up. Yeah, let's go all the way up. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the plaza. Runner on treasury. Interesting. Saren Manor. It's a big manor. Drawler Manor. Yes, it is in. Interesting. So I guess it's not really here. Hmm. Unless he's in one of the manors. I love these lamps. These folded paper lamps. It's so cool. Rhetoron Trader and Smith. Hmm. Rhetoron Scout and Drillmaster. The Flowers of Gold. What is this? Gold Cannon? I don't think I've ever been in here. Have you heard? Sojif Saren, the only son of House Redron nobles Taurus and Arn Saren, and the Saren clan heir, has been missing and unheard of for days. They have offered a reward for any information about him. Sojif was a very good mer. I hope he is not in any trouble. <laughs> we'll have to Why follow up on that here? quest later. Alright, so we've gone all around the Redron Canton, and I still can't find the temple. What is this? Redron Records. Redron Temple Shrine. There it is, one of the last doors. Praise the deck. My prices are reasonable. Damn, he's got a missing eye. <laughs> this dude's a little haggard for a priest. All right. Small task. Thank you for asking, my child. Have you met Tedder Hralar by any chance? He is a Dunmer, often found in the Red Run Plaza. He was fired unjustly, I believe, from Saren Manor recently, and now depends mainly on the charity of the temple. But his spirit is not broken, and he does not beg, instead continuing to look for work. If you are willing, I have a small task that will not only give him a little work, but perhaps a little more hope as well. I am willing. I am pleased, my child. The small task I have is simple. I want you to take a note and ten drinks to Tedder. He will probably ask if you have any work. Give him the note and ten drinks and ask him to deliver them soon to Danso and Dulis at the temple compound. Keep the other ten drinks for your time. The note just tells my friend Danso what we are doing and to give Tedder a hot meal. Tedder cannot read, by the way. There is no urgency to this, but I would appreciate hearing from you when you are finished. Okay, interesting. Interesting first quest. has been getting cold lately. House Redoron Unit Commander. Interesting. This is probably him.
I gave him the entire 20 drakes. Not like I need it. I have... I don't even know how much I have. I have 212,000. <laughs> it's like, bro, keep it. <laughs> it's fine. Red on prison cells, that's interesting. Prices are reasonable. Thank you, my child. I am proud of you that you saw fit to give all the money to Tedder. Your faith and honesty are a light in these darker times. And you are a true follower of the ideals of the temple. I have nothing to offer for this but my thanks and a blessing from Almsivi. I may, however, have another small task for you later, if you're willing. Cool. Thank you for asking. I do not know what you have heard about soul sickness, but it is increasing in the Redoron Canton. This is worrisome, since there does not appear to be more instances in the Telvanni or Lalu compounds, and we Redoron are more devout. I suspect something is targeting this Canton, but I have no proof. Then the other day, an orc by the name of Ugak fought and killed a Dunmer named Ara Locia Gerendas in the streets here in front of a witness. The ordinators arrested her. The orc was only babbling at the time, something about his golden face. The next day, she had no recollection of the murder, or the previous day at all. A classic symptom of soul sickness. Orcs do not normally suffer from soul sickness, so I believe this is significant. I went to talk to her, but she does not trust native Dunmer. Not unexpected, given her situation. You are an outlander orc, my child. Perhaps she will talk to you, if you are willing to help. I am willing. So, it sounds like she was having the nightmares that Dagathur gives people. I'm going to go ahead and save here. It's been a hot minute since we've saved. That is a Greetings. lot of ordinators. I am at your service. I am at your service. There she is. I'm in this cell for murder and a dark elf, but I don't even remember it. Ugok takes care of animals, not fights. The dark elves will kill me for fighting and murdering, and Ugok can't even remember it. What do you remember? Okay. So it looks like there's a Dagath shrine. Yes, it is in. Oh, damn. The cell key is just there on a table. Hmm. What do you want? So we're going to go all the way down to the sewers, probably, and see if we can find this, like, fifth house shrine. She probably picked up one of those fifth house statues, the ash ones, and it poisoned her mind, made her a dreamer. Rudder on canal works. And then we'll come on down to the rudder on underworks. There was a spirit near a foul shrine in the Redron Underworks. I could feel the pain and anger emanating from it when it attacked me. As I destroyed it, I felt a wave of sadness, a sense of futility, as if the spirit was tied to the shrine until something was done to free it. We'll take the ectoplasm. 
tortured corpse. Rusty key. Sacrificial dagger. Underworks ash statue. I picked it up. I found the shrine Ugok described in the Redron Underworks. It was a scene of horror, with a sacrificed victim, foul meat, and some unusual symbols, not Daedric in origin. There was also a small, strange statue, likely the one Ugok handled. I should take the statue back to Realms Gilvillo and tell him about this unholy shrine. Yeah, for sure. Corpus meat. Yeah, it's a Daedric, uh, sorry, a Daggett Shrine. Not great. Oh, that's not where I want to go. Shit. Lost Ghost. Yeah, we should get out of here. Greetings. Hello. From your description, that shrine sounds like the heretical Sixth House, servants of Dagoth Ur. Terrible news, my child, and yet not without hope. I believe they used that poor body there as a sacrifice to power their evil rituals in that strange statue. That is why we here in Redoron Compound have been suffering an increase in soul sickness. I can use the power of Alm Sivi to cleanse the evil influence of the statue and break the plague of soul sickness we are suffering. The spirit and pain you encountered is probably the person that was foully tortured and murdered to power the statue. Their spirit will be forced to remain there until we destroy the influence. Do you have it with you? Here it is. Yes, I can feel the malignant influence flowing from it. Someone was tormented and painfully killed to power this vile thing. But the power of Alm Sivi is stronger than any mere object. I will bless and cleanse it, then destroy it. I will also intervene for Ugok and tell the Ordinators that she was under the influence of soul sickness. I believe they will remove the death penalty at least, and should free her. I would appreciate you going and telling her in person of her stay of execution. Okay. That also means you have some Sixth House worshippers here in Redoron Canton. Concerning. Thanks, Jacri, thanks. The Ordinators told me that, that you and the Temple Priest spoke up for me. They're kicking me out of Morrowind. Good for me, I don't want to be here anymore. Okay. Cool. Happy ending. May you find all that. Not where we wanted to go. Do you need something, Outlander? With the destruction of that vile statue, the outbreak of soul sickness is ended. The tortured spirit near the shrine should be released now. Ugok was found innocent of murder and deported. Thank you for your good deed. Okay. That wasn't too bad. In fact, it was kind of interesting. And I'm glad that we could help the orc. Still, no uh, reputation increases so far from the temple. But I guess that kind of makes sense. The temple isn't about increasing your fame, right? I guess that's on brand for them. So it's only at about the 56 minute mark, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to end this episode here. We will catch back with Realms Gilvillo.
on the next episode and continue the Tribunal Temple chain. We're pretty far along. I think we're probably a good 70% or so through the temple. <clears throat> we're a disciple and we're close to a diviner. This has been interesting so far. And I can't remember the last time I did the Tribunal Temple quest chains, so it's been fun um, experiencing either these things for the first time in a long time or the first time ever. Interesting that the sacrificial dagger looks like a Daedric dagger, but it does not have Daedric dagger damage, I don't believe. So it has the item model, but not the damage stats. Interesting. Well, we can put it at home, at our little uh, shrine. We have our little Daedric shrine, and we finally got a red lantern. And we're going to keep trying to find these as we go through the game, so we can make a little spooky red area in our player house. <laughs> I think it would be atmospheric. Thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll catch you back for the uh, next episode. Have a nice one.